Well guys, this video is about will SRAM dump their front derailleur on their new red SRAM ASX with the new model. Now, the reason why I say that is because SRAM in the past has said we're not going to make a front derailleur anymore. And this is when they first brought out their one by. But of course, history has shown that they did go back to making two times front derailleurs. But there's some new technology around, and this may prompt SRAM to either get involved with new technology because their front derailleur has never been that successful. They've always had some issues, and even with the latest SRAM, there's concerns about chain drop, all that sort of thing. So SRAM probably been looking at this over a number of years, and they're probably looking at different solutions. So let's roll the intro, and let's see what solutions that may be out there on offer for SRAM to take up. Now, there is a product on the market called PowerShift Classified. And what they've done is they've invented a system where there is a two-gear setup that's in the hub, and they've redesigned all of the cassettes so this chamfered system can work on. And you just need to push a button, and there's a battery fitted into the through axle, and it changes from a one-to-one -one ratio to a two to something. I'm not quite sure what the ratio is, but it's equivalent to a 50 shift to a 34 shift. Now, this completely eliminates the front derailleur and all of the problems associated with the front derailleur. Now, the problem for Power Shift Classified is that at the current marketing point, they're only offered as an OEM product on the Ridley bikes and it is a significant increase in price. Now, if you're spending, if you're buying red group sets and you're buying top bikes, that may not be too much of an issue and you may want it. But people generally don't like to get by bits and pieces that have them all fitted to their bikes. Now, PowerShift Classified, all it needs is, is a button you press, just like all of the other wireless systems, and it will shift the hub. And it's it can shift twice within one rotation of the rear wheel. So it is some really super technology. Now, if I was SRAM, I would be looking closely at such technology. And SRAM has a history of buying other companies. And they've bought quite a few companies over the years to increase their market group in the cycling world. And if I was SRAM, I would either be, one, developing a system like that, or two... I would be looking at purchasing PowerShift Classified because if you not have much success after a number of iterations of your group sets, then why not get rid of it and do what they did say years ago, we're not going to make another front derailleur. Go to this hub shift system, design a brand new system where it all works off the one battery on the rear derailleur or they could put the battery in the through axle like PowerShift Classified has and make that run the derailleur and get rid of that bulkiness that's on the back derailleur to make it look a little bit more clean. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if in the background, SRAM is looking at this, looking at its options, because we do hear SRAM has a number of issues with their front derailleurs. And I remember when they had their 10 speed, it was a problem. Then they adapted it to this Your technology a bit better, but it was still a problem. And even now with the latest 12 speed red ASX still a problem. So if I was a company and I can't get that that product working correctly as other manufacturers can, then why not look at an alternative? Elim elim eliminate it completely. Go to one of these hub systems, incorporate completely into the group set so it's seamless and you can remove those little battery things that you have hanging on the back of the derailleurs. They're gone. You have one battery. You don't have to have two batteries. That's a saving for the company. And they have a system where now they've gone to their one buy, which they have a significant amount of development and technology in, and they're getting rid of their front derailleur, which they've had problems getting right.
Well, anyway, guys, what do you think about SRAM moving into something like this, a new technology where they get rid of that front derailleur? It would also be good for us who are buying these expensive frames. Every time we get a train drop, scratches the frame, puts a few little marks in the paint, you cry a river over it, then you move on. But it would entice people to say, hey, look, you know, this is something that's significant. It's going to keep my bike looking nice. I don't have to worry about chain drop. I don't have to worry about that front derailleur, two batteries to charge up. It would be a simpler, easier system. So leave your comments down below what you would think about it. Would you like to see SRAM Red or the top tier SRAM Force and Red move to something like this, a new technology? Or do you think it's fine the way it is? You've got a SRAM Red Axis. Haven't had a problem with it. Had no problem with the front derailleur. Okay, guys, that's where I'm going to leave it for today. And I will see you next vid.